customer around for an engine build and um, he gave me this oil pump and basically said, oh, this is the oil pump I want to use in my engine build. I said, let me remove the rear cover because this looks like an early pump from the outside. Just some of the markings and things. I, I looked at it and just said, oh, I don't like it. So these recesses here on this back plate, the, some of the things just looked wrong. After I removed it, I found that it had these steel, um, essentially a square cut gear. These are the notorious 4A pumps that explode. So the, all the sharp edges in them and square edges, they have notorious for actually catching each other and then um, breaking into pieces. I've never actually seen a 4A pump explode, but personally, but the one photo that I have seen floating around on Bill Zilla's website was of this in a Group A car, which the throttle had stuck open. It sat there and, and I revved to about 10,500 RPM. Before anyone could get to the, the ignition and cut it off, they tried to do it via the throttle or something. It happened, it sat there for like 30 seconds or a minute at top RPM, 10 and a half, and the gears actually exploded and lost the engine. Um, Toyota revised these oil pump gears and made a uh, rounded sort of gear, um, and they actually thickened the gears, making them a high volume, high flow pump with stronger gears. These, this is what you want to avoid. If you see these square cut teeth, this is the oil pump gears you want to avoid. Cool, and so the one that we're running on my engine is a silver top 20 valve yes. uh, pump, and yeah, yes. they're the ones that you prefer, right? Yes, so my, pre my preference on pumps for oil, uh, for 4AGEs is silver top 20 valve, being that uh, the black top 20 valve, obviously being the final revision, makes it uh, obviously the best pump, but the only difference is there is they went to a hydraulic tensioner, same as like the, what the 2J has. It's a it's a hydraulic tension that pushes onto the the idler the idler for the actual timing arrangement. The problem with that is, at high RPM, as the belt starts to get deflection and vibration, you'll actually find that it can potentially skip teeth. Um, as the te as the hydraulic tensioner starts to get older, it can't hold the tension with inside it. It starts to get lazy. Um, as where a silver top twenty valve pump is mechanical, it's set via a spring and a bearing like this. This is an old one. Don't. Uh, don't think that I'd use this on an engine, this is just all rubbish stuff. Um, this is bolted onto the oil pump, a spring goes from here to a pin. Um, when you set your timing, you have the, the, the tensioner screw, the tensioner bolt loose. You want cycle the engine twice, and then that sets the tension. You remove the spring after you've tightened the bolt up. I set the tension personally by hand, um, because generally you can go a little bit tighter than what the OEM says. Uh, not to mention the fact that we are revving the engines a lot harder than what OEM would do. So you're gonna get more belt deflection and vibration and things like that. Companies out there manufacture um, exhaust side idlers that help to stabilize the belt, pretty good option. Um, and yeah, that's uh, one of the things that you can consider when you're building a 4F yourself. Silver top 20 valve oil pump seems to be the best go. High flow, high volume, um, stronger gears, the best of the gears. And it's also cheaper to buy one of these than a uh, black top 20 valve uh, tensioner, tensioner yeah. bearing and the hydraulic tensioner. Yeah, it's cool. much, much cheaper to buy one of these. Very cool.